everyone and welcome to my corner of the world well valentine's is behind us and st patrick's is uh, a few days away and so i have this pretty little um st patrick's day card to share with you today um we have a little bit of technique going on uh how to cut the triangles uh, other than that it's a really quick and easy card to do and we're featuring the lucky clover stamp set with the clover punch here um those who know me know that i do love a stamp set that's got words as well as images and although we've got st patrick's day here the four leaf clover is all about luck and so uh you could use sending luck and love rather than happy st patrick's day um good luck uh is another good one because you know we're coming up to examination uh time and so this would be a really good one uh to use if you know of anyone that's going to be sitting some exams uh four leaf clover is about luck uh, rather than just st patrick's day and then this one here a good friend is like a four leaf clover hard to find and lucky to have what a lovely sentiment to put inside a card that you were going to send to a friend, maybe for a birthday, maybe as a thank you, but just as a just a, any reason to 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 send send a card. So our supplies today um, are using a Granny Apple Green card base, and then we've got. Uh, uh, this piece of uh, designer series paper, decorative paper, and a couple of sheets of cardstock. One goes inside to write your to you love from me on. And then this one here is um, for, for the front. So we're going to start with a little bit of stamping. And I've already got my stamps uh, on my, my block. I'm going to bring in a piece of paper just to protect my work surface. And I'm gonna start with my greeting. Um, I, I find that if I put my greeting down first, if for some reason um, I get carried away with my other stamping, at least I know I've now got enough room for my, for my greeting to go down. So I'm gonna do this in Granny Apple Green ink. And I'm going to try and get this as straight as I can. Not bad, not bad at all. So now I've got my greeting down. Um, I'm going to use one of the smaller um, shamrocks. It's kind. Of, it is the, the smallest single one, and I want to just see where I'm going to put my stamp so i'm just popping this down just to see where my spaces are so i'm not going to go crazy with this particular one i'm just gonna um position it like that i think that's about right and then i'm going to use my uh, crushed curry that's my yellow that's if you like my gold and I've got as one of the stamps has just got loads and loads of tiny little shamrocks on so I'm just gonna go and just sort of fill a v-shape around my other pieces now it doesn't matter if some of these disappear underneath the decorative paper um it's just making sure that you know we've got we haven't got too much in the way of white space and i think i'm just going to put a couple up there and maybe down here yeah Now I am also, while I'm here, going to stamp my big shamrock. And 
whenever I've got a punch and a stamp that coordinates, I always look to see, well, which way is my paper going to go in compared to where my stamped image is? And so I can see that with the paper going in at the top, I need to make sure that my I stamp my stem toward the bottom. And that way I won't be um, disappointed or trying to um, sort of work my paper around to um, make it fit in the punch. So let's get some ink on my stamp and just holding it steady for a few minutes to let this ink transfer over. And then I can pop my piece in and uh, I'm just gonna line it up. You might need to rotate it slightly, but line it up. And then if I just gently press the punch together, it kind of holds it in place. And then I can bring my thumb round and be able to put pressure to, to do the punch in. And a couple more things. I think I'm going to start, I think I stamped inside this card. Yep, I did. And so I'm gonna take the, my other piece of white paper, as well as my envelope, because I do like a decorated envelope. And I'm just gonna put the, um, the little shamrock in the corner there and maybe I'll put one in the other corner here as well just to all right clear the decks a little bit now my my piece of decorative paper is I think it's three by three let's have a look see what we've got yes it's three by three and that's because if you do it across so that the center piece here is is that this size that's what it came out as well if I'm truthful it the 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 distance was like three and 15 sixteenths and you'll see what I did about that in a minute because cutting to that is just too much. So um, I've got my three by three and I'm going to cut it into triangles. And I'm just going to do that. And I've done it on videos before, but I'll just really show you again how I do it. So this is our cutting um, part there that that's that's where the cutting channel runs so all I'm doing is lining up the point here and the point here over the uh, cutting channel and I'm going to make sure that my cutting blade is is halfway across the paper because sometimes if you try to cut corner to corner um it can smoosh up, it can scrunch up the, the, the actual corners. So I'm just gonna go up and back down again. And then I've got my, 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 two, my two pieces. Then I've got the, my, um, the piece I did a bit of stamping on, and I'm gonna stick these to those end pieces. So a little bit of liquid adhesive. And I'm going to just position it so that the cut edge lines up and it moved. And the cut edge lines up with the cut edge of the piece of white card. There we go. On that side, let's smooth that down. Now, 
So as I said, this is a really quick and easy card to do, but it's quite impressive when you use the triangles. And you know, you could do this for anything. Um, instead of using the shamrock, you could use little flowers or little birdies or what, whatever work, works for you that's the theme of the card that you want. And then as I said, to cut that exactly would have um, uh, meant that I was dealing with fifteenths, or oh, sorry, sixteenths of an inch. So all I'm going to do is, can you see I've just got those tiny little bits and I'm just going to snip those off and no one, but no one will be any the wiser unless they watch this video. <laughs> there. And I'm going to attach that with some stamping dimensionals. So I've got the end of one uh, sheet here. And then I've got a new one there ready, ready to go. Right. So I like to put one in each corner and one in the middle. And for some reason that isn't sliding. Oh, look, I've got a little bit of adhesive somehow on the back. That's why it's not sort of, I can't sort of flick it out the way. It's, uh, it keeps on catching. Right. So this piece is going to go like this. And I'm just going to center it up. And I'm then going to stick the piece uh, for the inside. That's the bit that you're going to write your to you, love from me on. There we go. And then we've got our little shamrock here. So... I'm going to be sort of putting it over the two points so that if you haven't quite got your points matched up and mine are a teeny bit off if you look, but I'm not going to stress about it because this piece goes over and no one's going to be any the wiser. So we can just pop that like that. So again, I'm going to put that up on some dimensionals and I'm just going to put um, one on each i think i'll put one on each leaf of the clover that'll work like that there you go now if you wanted this to be like a good luck card then instead of having put this here you can put the one of the other, um, like the good luck or sending love and luck stamp in there. And then you just wouldn't have, you wouldn't be able to put that extra one there. It would just um, fill that gap quite nicely. And then we're going to put a champagne rhinestone in the middle. And there we are. Now... If you look below this video, there will be a link to my blog. And if you click on that, it will take you exactly to the um, to the post and all the dimensions for the materials, as well as links to my online store where you can buy the goodies to make your own cards will be there. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, perhaps you'll go ahead, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you don't already do so. And if you've any comments, please just put them below and I'll enjoy reading them. Well, thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this card and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye for now.